Hello everyone, my name is Kovator and welcome to Kingdoms and Castles. This is a medieval strategy city builder and I am a massive fan of these sorts of strategy games and like the simulation sort of city management types of games. I actually just picked this up in the latest summer Steam sale. I had a, I had a look at it, I think it popped up in my queue on Steam and it looks like it has good reviews. So I figured I'd check it out. And by the looks of things down here, it was made by like two people. That's really impressive. And I mean, it looks pretty. I'm a massive fan of the style. I haven't played it at all yet myself, but I thought it'd be fun to do kind of like a first look kind of thing together. So there are, there are two modes. There's a the standard mode and the creative mode. This is new from my understanding. The creative mode is only a recent thing they added, but standard mode is recommended. So we'll have a quick look at that. We can... So there are threats. Less raiders and dragons. Well, I don't want no threats. So I guess easy? We'll just go with easy. Um, we'll go with what? A medium sized map? I Random? Oh, this is cool. So this in the background is actually our little land. Well, that looks nice. That looks nice. Let's go with that. Choose a banner. Well, <laughs> D20, that's pretty great. Can we do it? We can't do a custom banner. All right, so custom banner is an option. So what we could do if we wanted is you can go, go into like an art program and draw up your own banner. They have like a template available and then you can kind of import that into the game to have your own custom banner. But for the time being, I'm just going to stick with the D20 because it's pretty funny. And we're going to name our kingdom. Let's call it Khosra Town. And that should do it. So here we go. Um, unpopulated land. Build a keep to begin your kingdom. All right, well, let's chuck it down right here. Keep. Oh, cool. All right, here we go. Let's chuck this down right here. Your first Hamlet achievement unlocked. All right, here we go. Oh, that's cool. It's like slowly building up. You can see our little dudes down here. We got Zemu, 17. Andrew Kokani. That's cool. All right, these people want houses. Would like a place to live. So what, we can build ourselves a road? Okay, so... Oh look, there's a little banner there! That'd be pretty cool with like a custom banner. Um... So our first road has to be adjacent to the keep. How do we rotate this? Is there a way to rotate it? I'm kind of scared to place it down if I don't, if I don't know if I can rotate it. Um... I... Don't know how that works. But we can run a road out here. And build some bubbles. We're going to be short on resources soon, surely. I don't know how much resources a road takes. I, don't, I wasn't even looking at that. So that costs a wood. The houses cost five wood. So we're going to have to send people to harvest. How do we do that? I'm probably going to mess things up really bad. Uh, advisors. Agriculture. Good day, sir. We need farms first to feed our workers. Need some roads and some houses. Good day, sire. All right. Can we... Oh, we can order people to go chop these trees. All right, let's go chop these trees down. I also want someone to... Unusable stone. How do we get rid of this then? Can we destroy that? I hope we can destroy that. From my understanding, um, we start out with like this small town, but it can grow like into like a massive sprawling city. And that seems to be the goal, is going from like what we have here, like our small little town, and then upgrading that as we go until we wind up with this massive sprawling, huge populated city. 
build priority. Stockpile work as builders. Alright. So I guess the stockpile's in our keep. But let's um let's see. Maybe we can add some more roads. I kinda wanna run a road down this way. Maybe a quarry over here would be nice. I don't even know what buildings are available. I kind of just want to get some stuff together. We should build some farms. Uh, we need... Oh, how do we do this? How do we find fertile... Oh, so this is fertile land. Very fertile. Okay. So if we, if we go over here... How do I move the camera? There we go. We can maybe set some farms up over here. So if we run our road... All the way out here. We can maybe build a granary on one side. That's going to take a lot. I don't even know what that other resource is. Build a quarry adjacent to light grey rocks. So maybe if we build a quarry over there... Quarry is a thing apparently. Industry. Quarry! Don't have enough wood. Alright, we wood is our top priority. Let's get ourselves tons and tons of wood. Over here would be good for a quarry too. But this seems to be... We have a hot key? C. Okay. So we can just tell people to chop down all these trees. And... Maybe build a quarry over here. I don't think we actually need the roads initially. Do things have to be placed adjacent to roads? Let's see. Build near light colored stone. Why well, I'm assuming... Stone available to quarry. So it would be that one over there. This stuff is all unusable. That one's an iron, but that would require a mine, which I think is different. No? Oh, iron mine, there it is. So that's where our mine would have to go. I'm kind of getting the, the, the gist of it, but I'm worried about our people starving because we have no food. So I feel like that should be probably our top priority. I can't put it there. So maybe that's where we should build our granary, and just build some farms. In this very fertile... This very fertile land. Because I don't want our people to starve, that would be really bad. And then, how big is a, is a granary? Just a small granary. Oh, it won't even let me see. I think we're going to need a quarry next. How much does that take? 15 wood. Yeah, we just need so much wood. Alright, we're going to do this kind of harvesting away. Getting a bunch of um, wood for us. I think we need to set the job priority to timber workers. For the time being. Our farmers probably the highest. Then timber workers. Or well, then builders. Then timber workers. Let's get these farms built. I love this priority system. It's really neat because you can just like freely drag around where you want to send people. And it will be like the amount of active jobs required. So like because there are these two farms that need building. We can make that our like our second priority and when there's no jobs left it'll send them all to timber oh, but now they're all gonna farm which i'm not sure is really what we want right now but probably three farms may have been excessive um 
I just wish we could get rid of these. Maybe we can unlock a way to get rid of that eventually. Do we have a limit to our stockpiles of how much we can store of it of a resource? There's a stockpile building, so I assume that we do have a limit on how many resources we can store. But we need to get this quarry up and running next as like an urgent priority so that we can build more houses for people. We have like a little residential district here, I reckon. Um, we have our keep, a little residential district, our farms going up over here, our quarry over here. Maybe over here would be better. Maybe I'll put the quarry over here and we'll run a road down here like this. But we need, we need more timber workers. And no one's moving this stuff to the stockpile. I might even do that. We have food! Brilliant, people aren't gonna starve. Oh, this is where the limit might be. Okay, that's why we need stockpiles. 60 average home happiness, is that good? I hope that's good. Has no coal, too far away or none available. Oh, house up to five villages, so people do have homes. So wait, if we make another, if we make another hovel, will that give us more people? And how do we get coal? Charcoal maker. Requires a forester. We need a quarry first. We need to get on top of this. Sai, no one is available to build any construction. You can move the builder jobs to be high priority. Um, yeah, alright. Well, that's cool. I'm glad it let me know. Otherwise, nothing just would have gotten done. We got 14. Alright, cool. So now we've got people managing stockpiles. We can hopefully soon build that quarry and actually get on top of stuff because we're kind of running into a couple of problems. And maybe this will get us more people? Like more people will move in maybe? We're gonna have 15. This guy's bringing us some, uh, some last of the wood we need to build ourselves like quarry. Things are moving. Things are moving along. Alright, there's another house. Is that going to give us more people? We have 10 beds for 5 people. Hmm. Sire, it took too long to store our harvest. Some of it was ruined by winter. Improving paths to granary would help. Yeah, I want to put a granary over here. So that we can store more food. But we're, we're okay for food. It's not too bad. We may have gone overkill on food. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. Can we store a little more wood? I need one more for our quarry. Then we can start moving up the industry tree. Yeah, things like um, Forester would probably be next. And that we'll chuck, we may as well chuck over here as well. So we can have kind of like an industrial section over here. But our iron mine's gonna have to go here near the keep. Unless we have more iron somewhere. Oh, there's some over here. But the city is gonna have to more expand over this way, probably. Especially if we can't get rid of these rocks. But Cosra Town's fine. Cosra Town's doing fine. My lord, life is good here. Our kingdom attracted four new residents! Oh man. 
we're rolling in people now. We got all the people. Life is indeed good. Look at this. All our jobs are filled. This guy's bringing the wood back. I'm hoping to our um, stockpile. Do we have... No, we need to chop more. We can chop more. We got one idle person. That means our farms are going to be tended to. So we're going to get all the food. Happiness is on the up. We just really need to uh <laughs> to get on that quarry. Because then that's kind of what we're hinging on everything on at the moment. Is this. There, perfect. Um, too far from roads. Oh, we have to build roads over there first? I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense. All right, let's build a road over here. I reckon... Let's run the road up there. That should be close enough, right? Now we don't have enough wood. Because <laughs> we used our whole wood. Damn it. We're going to be careful. Because like, what happens when like raiders and stuff show up? And dragons apparently can show up? Raiders and dragons? If a dragon showed up now, we'd be screwed. We'd be so screwed. So people were complaining that they visited, but they couldn't find a home. And telling us that we needed more houses. Maybe we should get more houses, because we're full. I mean, more people is just gonna, can only help, right? I keep getting distracted. Quarry. We need to do quarry first. Must be adjacent to stone. Alright. Well, if we do one there... We can maybe run another path here and do another one here. When we need more. No one is idle. We have 15 beds. I kind of want to map out this path. But I don't want to waste resources. I'm glad that this game has been as easy to pick it up as it is. Because I find um, a lot of the these types of games tend to fall into the trap of being really complicated. And because I remember I played a game called Banished and that took a while for me to kind of get to a point where I felt stable and confident in what I was doing. And I found that I was just constantly dying. Um, and my, my cities were always failing. But now I feel like even just now, having like where I am at the moment, I feel stable enough. Like, I don't feel like I'm gonna just straight up die. Um, due to just not knowing what I'm doing. I mean, I'm pro there's probably way more efficient ways for me to be doing what I'm doing. But, this is working fine. And it seems to be going well. We've got ourselves a quarry. We're just building, we're just waiting for some more wood. Oh, that's cool. It tells us who's working on it. It highlights the people who are working on it. That's neat. So the quarry is done? No? Yes? Yes, it is. It's done. And we got four workers there. Working in the quarry. Alright. So now our next step should be... Build the forester. Once we get stone. We still need more wood, though. Let's just chop down all this wood. Chop it all down. Chop it all down. I think I'm also thinking way grander than I need to right now. Like, planning out all these farms. I probably don't need that many at this point. Um, 
And I think the only reason our food spoiled is because they just literally had no farmers working on it. We're getting more and more people each year. Build another little house. We're starting to get stone. So our forester shouldn't be too far off. And we're going to have to build roads over there first, though. So let's do that. Town. That's where it is. So I'm feeling we run a road out here. I build, like, the forest to here. And then it also sets it up for our future quarry. Or if I just run that straight into a rock. I run that straight into a rock. Ignore this. Ignore this, guys. Ignore this. Ignore me. That's unusable. But if I run... Damn it. Okay. Then maybe... Here? I'm kind of curious. How far is too far from a road? Like... What am I looking for? Industry. Quarry. Would there be okay? Oh, even there's okay. Alright. But we don't need a road there. Maybe. Or we could just, you know, run it there. I mean, that works. Um... Middle mouse button. Oh, we can we can rotate. All right. Oh, that's cool. Well, if we build that there, I don't know if that's actually going to cut down the trees or what that's going to do. Chops and replants trees. Okay. Well, that may not have been the best place for it. I kind of want to run a new road out to it now. Um, let's see, how wide is this? Let's try and keep this uniform. So we got that five wide. Three, four, five. So if we kind of run this, like, so, then that'll stay uniform here. We can kind of have these always 10 houses each, eventually. Is that interfering with, um, you? That's perfect, actually. So if we then run a road just alongside here. Maybe we don't even need to make a road in there. Is this okay here? That might very well just be okay there. Like, out there on its own. That kind of gives us a bit of room... ...to stay relatively uniform here in our little... ...areas. We got room for five new people. What are our um, food stores are running low? Perhaps more farms could help. Peasants are mostly fine, but we can do better. Try examining a house to see how to improve our peasants' conditions. They want charcoal and they want a well. All right. Well, how do we build a well? That's stone and um, wood, which we could build another quarry. Once we have more wood. Hmm. Food stores. Yeah, I I can see that. Let's put another farm here then. How's the priorities going? Move the farmers up. We definitely want those filled at all times. 
I mean, we have enough people. No one's idle. We're low on the wood front, but with the forest there, that should make things better. That seems to be working just fine. What's the output of this? 20 per year? That's pretty good. And... People just want more farms. Yeah, so let's work towards getting... I think our food situation's okay. Obviously, the more people we get, the more food we're going to need. Maybe we should just do a couple more. How big is the granary going to be, though? Because I kind of want to build one of those over here. Um, small granary. Stores food. Farmers bring food here to store after each harvest. Food that can't be stored by the end of winter is lost. So if we maybe chuck a small granary in here, and then some more farms... Provides water to aqueducts and reservoirs. I mean, that's a lot of food. The winter's coming. And if we build a granary right here, we'll be fine. Like... Hmm. Peasants worry about food for the winter, we must do something about our food supply. Okay, maybe food is a lot more desperate than we thought. Let's just put a few more farms. We might even need another forester. We might have expanded too quickly. We might have expanded too quickly. <laughs> Things could be going horribly wrong. I think we're okay for food. We still got plenty of food. How much food do people need? We definitely need to be getting more wood. Let's just send some people to chop. We don't need foresters to do all of our wood. We can just have some some timber workers. No one's working in the quarry at the moment though, as a result. We've got 22 stone. How much do we need? Uh Charcoal make is something we can work towards. We've got enough for another forester. So wood is really the only urgent thing we really want. We don't need a stockpile because we're not hurting for storage. Oh yeah, what about a granary? Granary only needed five. So yeah, wood is just our most urgent thing. So it's okay that there's no one working the quarry at the moment. Hmm. These stores are running low. See, this would have been another great place for a farm. I mean, we could probably just extend out here and do some more farming over here if we wanted. I think eight should be good for the time being. There's probably like an optimal ratio of how many farms you need, but I'd rather have too many than not enough. Alright, let's get this second forester up and running. I don't know if overlap's a problem. I have to be at least four tiles away from other foresters. So I kind of, I kind of want this area to be more residential, so I don't want to take that up. But if we put this here, this can kind of be our forest area. Put another hovel. Oh, we can build a well. Hmm. 
Maybe if we... Hmm. I'm tempted to make like a sort of town square-y thing here. Is there like a town square? There is a town square. We have nowhere near enough resources. Actually, no, we're close. We only need two more wood. See, I don't know if this wood over here counts towards our stockpile. Like if... Oh no, there we go. Um, how big's the town square? Um... Damn, it doesn't quite fit, really, how I'd want it. Because I've done everything in groups of five. It doesn't really fit, damn it! <laughs> well, I suppose we could just... I suppose it doesn't have to be even. We're kind of planning on extending more out this way. So maybe it'd be good to put it over here. Let's go with that. Let's put it there. We got our second forester up and running. We got a quarry. If no one's working in, we need more people. I want a small granary first. I want that over here. Then I want another house. But I kind of had an idea if I... Oh shit. I've, I've ruined my idea because I put this in the way. No, sorry. Cancel that. Cancel the plans. Put that there instead. Wait. Yes. But I kind of had an idea. What if I demolish this and then build... Like a little... Where'd it go? Oh, we don't have enough resources. I'm thinking if we build like a little square thing, we can put like a well in the middle. And that would look nice. People want a well. There's a little town square. It'll make people happy. We can do a festival if we had money. <laughs> We're probably getting ahead of ourselves with that. Oh, we lost some of our food. With the granary, we should be able to store tons, though. I guess our wood's just torn between multiple people at this stage. I think you guys um, get the idea at this point of what this game's kind of about. And we've got... Oh, it seems some dangerous stuff is going on. Like, that lightning could maybe start a fire. I hope not. I hope not. We don't have a well yet. But anyway, I've already recorded a bit of a longer video than I intended. I got a bit carried away. This, this game's just really fun, um, and I just, I want to keep going. <laughs> I care about my little village, and yeah, I just, I love these sorts of games. I've really enjoyed my time with this, and if you like, if what you're looking for in a, in a simulation like City Builder sort of game is something a bit more on the simpler side, um, this is definitely a really good option, and it's nice to take a break from those really like complicated <laughs> um like strategy games like um i keep referring to banish because it's the one that sticks in my mind most prevalently um of at least ones that i've played where it gets rather complicated and serious and things can go horribly wrong really quickly whereas this seems to be a lot more relaxing um less stressful and you can focus more on the the city aspect. And that's just speaking from the easy difficulty. I don't know how crazy it'll get on hard. Definitely, definitely really enjoying my time with this one. Definitely would love to play more. I'll at least be playing more on my own. But if you guys would like to see more of this on the channel, feel free to leave a comment down below, leave a like on this video. It's the best way for me to know that you're enjoying it and would love to see more of our little Cosra town. <laughs> so yeah, I guess I will just wrap this one up here. Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe. It really does mean a lot to me. Remember, you can check out my channel for more videos that I've done. 
and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye!